Hello, uh, I'm a medical doctor in Myanmar. I work in Northern Rakhine State since 2017 Rohingya conflict. Currently, I'm working as a medical cover in Yangon since 2021 February. Uh, Myanmar military is committing war crime and prohibiting the human rights to citizens. Since the coup took place in 1st of February, more than 700 citizens have been killed by the military who have used the rear bullet and highly explosive weapons, highlighting the patients who are killed and injured by this action. I also have witnessed about the killing of innocent Rohingya community by the military in Rakhine. One of the patients from the protests and those who has been detained had challenges in getting healthcare services. The Myanmar military doesn't allow the wounded patients to get facet and they are sent to police station for investigation. Therefore, most of the patients die on the way due to massive blood loss without getting immediate medical assistance. Currently, the military base militaries are based camping at the at the government hospital, university and uh, and, and schools. That's why most of the that's why the government hospital became an unsafe place for patients and they can be arrested at any time. For the admission cases who came to government hospital are recorded by police and arrested the patients before discharging from the hospital. The Myanmar military is also targeting the medics, ambulance, hospital and clinics. They arrest the medics and they don't allow us to treat the wounded patients. Currently, all the medical doctors who join the civil disobedient movement are wantonless to arrest. If they arrest the CDN staff, it can sentence up to three years of imprisonment. The Myanmar military accused the CDN doctor of murdering the people in cold blood. In Rio, the CDN doctors are helping the general population by a variety of ways. For example, by helping the free treatment to patients in private hospital, in charity clinics, by hotline counseling, or home visit, etc. As a call to actions, I want the international society to help the Myanmar in three ways. Speak out about Myanmar. Internet connection in Myanmar is blocked, and only fiber internet connection is available. It doesn't re reach out by the general communities and the majority of the people are using the same internet. The military block the information flow from the country to the all over the world, but we strongly believe that each and every one of you will help us to speak out about Myanmar. Second, help the Myanmar, help Myanmar people who are fighting for democracy. The people on the street, every day standing up for democracy, in the country against the military coup. The international society can help Myanmar by supporting our movement and listening to our voice. Support for full protection of the medics and patients. To protect medics under attack and patients having a healthcare treatment, we need international pressure on military to stop the inhumane actions on citizens and protect the patients and methods according to international humanitarian law. Thank you so much.